started using substances at the age of 12. Every time I got released from prison, I used to pick up the day I got out. I was committing crime the day after. Then at the age of 45, I was sentenced to four years in Chester Crown uh, by uh, Hugh Daniels. Hugh Daniels turned around and told me to use this sentence to think about what I was going to do when I got released. Because as I've done the same things I've always done on release, I was going to die a sad, lonely old man. And then words haunted me. I had about four weeks left on my sentence and uh, Jim Pitts, my carrot worker, turned around and told me that some fella was coming in who runs a rehabilitation centre that's at the forefront of tackling drug addiction. Parkview is a unique place where people can come who are suffering with drugs and alcohol issues. Our clients come from varied backgrounds, sex workers, street drinkers, people from broken families, PPOs, people who have just come out of the criminal justice system. All the different backgrounds you can think of. Clients come from lots of different sources. The great majority of self-referrals. You get a large amount from the criminal justice, other agencies, homeless agencies and drug agencies throughout the city. Parkview provided me with a safe, warm, compassionate environment where I took a chance and exposed myself to other human beings. It's an environment where they're allowed to recover. They haven't got the pressures of the outside world. In a primary unit, it's much more rigid. The regime there is very strict. Clients are up at half past seven in the morning, as well as doing the daily duty. They'll go on to do a morning group session. Then they'll stop for dinner, and after dinner they'll go back in again to do the group session in the afternoon. Every evening, they'll be expected to go to a fellowship meeting. Give me Narcotics Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, Cocaine Anonymous. I remember sitting in an NA meeting and I heard the word abstinence. When I went back to Parkview, I had a chat with one of the key workers and I said to the key workers, I've been hearing this word abstinence, what does it mean? And the key worker turned around and said, we abstain from all mood and mind altering substances, including alcohol. And I reacted by ranting and raving and shouting, I can't go the rest of my life without having a drink. And the key worker smiled and said, you don't have to, you've only got to do it for today. Staff of Parkview come from varied backgrounds. Most of them have been in some type of rehabilitation themselves. Their experience is invaluable. There's a lot of times they can get very depressed and disheartened, and it's the staff that can pick them back up again. Just a couple of choice words at the right time can completely change them. Clients come into Parkview and introduce to the 12-step programme. I read step one out to meet 11 peers and uh, four members of staff and I cried, I cried, I was angry, I was full of shame and guilt, full of remorse. You know, I could hardly read the writing because of the tears. I said, that's the way I've lived my life and I sit here today and I recognise it's wrong. That's the only way I know how to live. Show me. Primary treatment would normally last between 12 and 16 weeks before they move on to secondary treatment. In the secondary unit, clients can access training and other things that they may need to be able to go on and live independently. We also have third stage, which accommodate clients who've completed stage one and stage two, who may not yet be ready to move on to independent accommodation. There's lots and lots of challenges that they're going to come up against. Lots have never had a proper education. Lots have never been in full-time employment. When they come into Parkview, we show them that those things can change. My life's just changed. I work now, and I do love it. Hello? Sorry. Hello, brother. One minute. Look what you've achieved there. I think it's worth mentioning the Support Worker of the Year award that you went for. <laughs> I ain't going to mention that. Get that in, no. <laughs> A big part of the programme is getting clients to re-engage with the families. I've got me mum back in my life. Uh, all she'd ever wanted was her son that she could be proud of and today she's got that and there's not a day goes by that she doesn't tell me how proud she is of me. You know, I've, uh, I've managed to give her a piece of mind back which to me is one of the greatest gifts in my recovery. When I was using, I not only impacted my family in a negative way but my community. I've done 13 prison sentences and I've must have cost the taxpayer millions of pounds over the years. Once a person has made that decision to engage with the programme or recovery and come into Parkview, 
it's the start of a major impact on the wider community. And it's really good now, the 2010 drug strategy mentions about the government taking on recovery as a tool to help cope with the effect of drug and alcohol in the community. The impact it has on the National Health Service, on the criminal justice system. There's a change around with the clients that automatically has an impact. We've been doing it for the past 10 years. I'm still living and working in my community, but I'm a productive, positive member of that community. It's good that it's right in my community because it's helped me settle back into, into Liverpool. The being a rehab available to me in Liverpool helped me immensely. I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for me going through that rehab. I think Parkview challenges the notion of once an addict, always an addict. Parkview have got an alumni association made up of ex-clients who have come through the programme, back with the families, working within the community and now living drug-free, alcohol-free and crime-free quality lives in the community. I used to think I was free when the gates of a prison used to open and I used to walk out. Sometimes I used to punch the air and free, through the help of a programme and fellowship and other recovering addicts. I have got a sense of freedom I never thought possible. The clients, staff, over the years, each and every one of them have played a part in a bricks and mortar of Parkview. It's built on spirit and the spirit of all these people brought Parkview to what it is today. Today, my life has changed so much that I'm in fact head of treatment at the Parkview project. On my last court appearance, my probation officer described me as not willing to change, not willing to engage, to set in his ways. But she was wrong. I have changed. And if I can change, so can you.